Hello ACU family, uh, this is Ray uh, Fernandez coming at you from the Poconos PA. Uh, praying and hoping that you guys are good and hanging in there. Uh, there were two topics I was interested in uh, choosing. One was divorce and the other one was uh, fatherlessness. Um, I uh, decided to do fatherlessness because uh, I, I, I have like three jobs, but anyway. But one of my jobs is working at a retail store. And uh, I remember one of my co-workers, about, he's about a uh, 19-year-old, 20-year-old young man. He's a freshman in college. He uh, mentioned to me, Ray, I, I could only hope that uh, my mom can bring someone like you to the house um, as her boyfriend. And uh, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like uh, buddy, you know, obviously I can, even though, um, unfortunately, I'm, I'm divorced. However... Um, I'm just, I'm not into that mindset. Uh, and I asked him why, why you say that? He said, because I, uh, my dad, ever since I became uh, of age, he's, he's abandoned us. He has, um, used the excuse of us being older, not to be involved in our lives. And he says, I need my dad now more than ever. Uh, even though I'm in college, he said, um, I have a girlfriend and sometimes I need to hear some pointers from, uh, from a man. So uh, that triggered me to um, research the causes of fatherlessness. Uh, I, I, you know, being being a PK, a pastor's kid, uh, I've seen the effects of uh, fatherlessness. Uh, I grew up in New York City, in the South Bronx, in the projects, for about twenty years of my life, and I and I saw it. However, um, I decided to do some uh, extra researching on the subject. And um, and its causes. Uh, I, I give thanks to God that even though, like I said, I grew up in the projects, low income neighborhood, dangerous neighborhood. Um, in the eighties, the crack epidemic was consuming all of New York City. Um, thank God because of my dad, uh, who he himself did not have a dad, but he didn't want to repeat the same mistakes his father uh, did towards him, and he gave his life to the Lord. And he raised us up in godly values. Uh, nonetheless, he he made sure that we weren't going to go down or the same route he could have possibly gone if he did not give his life to the Lord. So uh, my dad uh, worked. My dad, however, he, although he worked and my mom stood home, he was always there. We respected him. We loved him. He was a hardworking man. And I, I learned hard work and love for God and serving in the church because of my dad. But when uh, people are fatherless, like my coworker, uh, who longs to have a father, even though he's a freshman in college, um, many in society will call him a self-made man, ready to face the word, the world. Excuse me. Even at that age, he needs a father. And doing some of the research and um, about the essay I'm going to write about fatherlessness, fatherlessness affects uh, kids' uh, health emotionally. Emotional health, um, and I'm reading some of my notes here. Uh, it affects uh, education. Uh, it also um, affects, uh, uh, like I said, uh, mental health, uh, mental mental health, physical health, um, education. It also affects um, their confidence in school. Uh, so it, it's uh, it affects a lot of the aspects that right now society is struggling with, with our youth. And even though um, we think it only affects our youth, but we even see adults in our workplace, um, how they behave, their reaction towards certain situations is an, an, an indication that they did not have a father. Or if they did have a father, the father was either addicted to drugs or not present at all. Uh, unfortunately, media... Society has downplayed the effects of fatherlessness, but this effect with fatherlessness is doesn't only affect the United States, but uh, according to the 2007 UNICEF report, it affects not only the U.S. but Canada and the U.K. And these are countries that are developed countries, but they are struggling with their nation's children, the their poor state uh, mentally physically and educationally and i'm just quoting here and this is uh from an article 
um, a father's impact on child development, uh, which is a part of the Children's Bureau article. It says, um, just reading, it says, however, a factor that has been largely ignored, particularly among child and po family policymakers, is the prevalence and devastating effects a father absence in the children's lives. You see, society ignores it. Society blames it on, on uh, a certain ethnic group, uh, government issues, um, uh, monetary issues. But the bottom line is there is no father or a lack of a father, involved father in the child's life. So again, this is not only an effect in the United States, but as we just read from the 2007 UNICEF report, that it's a worldly issue, especially among quote unquote developed countries that should know better. <laughs> but uh, so I would like, uh, again, that will be part of my essay. I'll be addressing uh, the health issues of fatherlessness, um, the mental issues, the educational issues that come uh, because of fatherlessness, and, um, and, and also its effects on society. Uh, again, I'll be using the word of God. Uh, remember, it was God's idea for the family. Uh, the, uh, the idea of a family and marriage and uh, all that stuff so was God's idea. It wasn't man's idea. Man's idea is always, especially after the fall, it's about what have you done for me lately? Um, blaming, uh, you know, looking for an excuse to do what's wrong. But uh, with the Lord, um, he wants us to take personal responsibility and repent. And one of the first scriptures I'll be using in my essay is Hebrews uh, 3.15 where it says, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. And I believe that God is screaming. God is uh, raising the alarm and pleading. Uh, not only, not only with, the, with the world, because the world will be the world, but even in his church. That we were to hear his voice, we will not harden his heart. Because fatherlessness is not only a, a world issue, but even in our churches has crept up. We have we we have accepted it. We have uh, excused it um, that fatherlessness is not needed, um, but fatherlessness um, excuse me being a father is needed, and fatherlessness is a um, I, I'm going to even call it a plague, uh, and its symptoms are felt in society. So God bless you guys, and I hope to hear what uh, what other essays you uh, you guys are writing about. Okay, thank you.